پاکستان پیپلز پارٹی کا موقف آج سے نہیں ہمیشہ سے یہ رہا ہے کہ بھارت کے ساتھ ہم اپنا ریلیشنس کو نارملائز کرنا چاہتے ہیں یہ ہمارا تقریباً ہر مینیفیسٹو کا حصہ ہوتا تھا اس کو مزاحمت کرتے ہیں اور وقت پہ ایک ایسا جواب دیں گے کہ ان کو یاد رکھ رہے گا مگر اس کا یہ یہ کرنا ہی ان کا پیٹینس کو دکھاتا ہے شو آف دیئر ایریگنس ٹو دا ورلڈ I and my country are firmly committed to eradicating this menace. This requires not only a comprehensive approach. So it is a show of their arrogance to the world. Okay, to hell with international law, to hell with United Nations Security Council resolutions, to hell with any bilateral agreement, India will hold their events in Kashmir. We greatly appreciate China's steadfast support um, on all our issues of core national interests, including the principled position on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. also right to note that we pay, face a particularly uphill task to try and get a Kashmir onto the uh, into the center of the agenda at the United Nations. As a foreign minister of an SCO member state, uh, Mr. Bhutto Zardari was treated accordingly. As a promoter, justifier, uh, and I'm sorry to say spokesperson of a terrorism industry, which is the mainstay of Pakistan, his positions were called out and they were countered. including at the SEO meeting itself. Jo, uh, aapka jo anuche 370 wala jo sawal jo tha, میں آپ کو انگریزی میں جواب دے رہا ہوں کیونکہ آئی ہیو اے فریز وچ از ویک اپ اینڈ اسمیل دا کافی تھری سیونٹی از ہسٹری سونر پیپل ریئلائز اٹ دا بیٹر آئی سیڈ ان کا کوئی جی ٹوینٹی سے لینا دینا نہیں ہے آئی ول آلسو سے ان کا کوئی سری نگر سے بھی لینا دینا نہیں ہے There is only one issue to discuss on Kashmir, which is when does Pakistan vacate its illegal occupation of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Uh, economic corridor, this so-called corridor. I think it was made very clear, not once but twice in the SCO meeting, that uh, connectivity is good for progress, but connectivity cannot violate the territorial integrity and sovereignty of states. So this has been our long-standing position, nobody should have any doubt about it, and I assure you those who are in the room today had no doubt about it. I made sure of that.
requires that we let this challenge unite us to fight it rather than divide us to become its victims. Our success requires us to isolate this issue from geopolitical partisanship. Practical, pragmatic solutions exist for us to put an end to this chapter once and for all. We must stop conflating non-state actors with state actors, condemn all forms of terrorism, including state-sponsored terrorism.